Are you serious? Are you serious? Snakes falling out of the ceiling and out of the walls at an elementary school in Walls, Mississippi. Are you serious? And a grandfather there making the statement, parents and family members of students and faculties are concerned about the reptilian presence. What? Are you serious? I've been concerned about a reptilian presence in our school systems for a generation. The spirit of the Illuminati. As Dr. Ben Carson said, we must extract common core from the curriculum and the chaos of our uh, country's school system. Now, these were actually snakes. Maybe whatever's going on, of course, I've said it many times, whatever's going on in the spiritual world manifests as in the physical. And the presence of a reptilian doctrine has been taught wiping history, changing American history, literally removing portions of American history and teaching a socialistic, secular, humanistic, and literally, folks, uh, the Illuminati and the reptilian, Luciferian influence upon a generation has corrupted the minds and understanding of America's youth. And now we're seeing the manifestation of the information. Uh, and this is truly a revelation of what's going on. Actual snakes falling out of the ceiling and out of the walls of an elementary school in Walls, Mississippi. Uh, wow. Now, they are trying to find out how in the world the snakes even got in the ceiling. They think they might have crawled through the duct system. The walls are infested. Uh, the family members are very concerned. In DeSoto County, Mississippi, uh, the reports are uh, that the snake is not venomous. Thank God for that. Uh, and uh, the Memphis, Tennessee Zoo said the snakes are harmless. Gray rat snakes. Well, they are harmless as far as perception. But uh, in reality... Uh, what in the world is going on between those walls? Are you serious? Are you saved? Pray for America. Taking back America is a whole lot more than just a politician or a political party. It's going to take some prayer. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.